get started here. Um, kind of recapping last week, and we talked about it early in the week of uh, it being a physical week. Uh, we did some live work and practice. Um, really played football. Played more 11 on 11 and, uh, and just cut it loose. Worked on cutting, uh, getting cut. Worked on live tackling and practice. And then that carried into the scrimmage on Saturday uh, where everybody was live and we were playing, quarterbacks included. Um, some highlights you know, from the scrimmage, I thought from a quarterback standpoint, uh, all four guys played very well. Uh, Ryan Finley was 60% completion. Uh, Tommy Stewart was uh, just above 70%. Uh, Brett Rippon was uh, right at 60%. Uh, and Ogle was right around 50%. Uh, <clears throat> but it's always good to see those guys uh, you know, play uh, with being live. Uh, and the reason why we did it, you know, none of these guys really have any snaps under their belts, if any. And uh, it's good to get out there and, and cut it loose and see if the plays <laughs> that they can make, uh, they actually can, and they did. Uh, we worked some red zone early on. Uh, you know, the offense scored a couple times in the red zone, and the defense, uh, like always, stiffened up, forced a couple field goals, had a couple blocked field goals in there as well. Uh, so those guys, you know, using different guys in different positions. Uh, did some open field work, uh, which I thought was very good. Uh, just some drives, letting guys cut a loose play. Uh, had a couple drives in there that we called drives to win, uh, where we had the uh, the one offense against the second defense, uh, first defense versus the second offense, uh, and it went like we hoped it would. So overall, uh, physical. Everybody got uh, around 45 live plays, uh, which is probably a little bit more than we've done in spring. Uh, for that second scrimmage, but uh, everybody came out healthy. Um, I think everybody came out excited about you know what we did, um, and hopefully that energy carries into this week. That's what we hope. And we finish this week with the spring game on April 11th strong, and uh, and get everybody uh, good reps, and uh, and close that out the next week with that last kind of cleanup practice uh, before we're completely done with spring. But <clears throat> this is a great opportunity this week to come out and see these guys. We're going to have alumni back April 10th. Uh, last year, I think we had 400 and something uh, guys come back. Hopefully, it's more than that. Uh, so they'll be out of practice. Uh, former players here, it's always good to see those guys, have them come back, be around the guys. Uh, and then uh, on the 11th, a lot going on that day. We had the spring games for the first time for everybody to really come out and see this 2015 team. Um, Grant Hedrick and Kellen Moore, they're not coming back, so it's your first chance to see the, the quarterbacks play and, uh, and take a look at those guys. Got B-Day going on, which is, uh, you know, the school is really kind of opening itself up, uh, not just for football, but for everybody uh, to come on campus and, uh, you know, potential students, student athletes. Uh, there's going to be a lot of people on campus that day checking out Boise State on top of it. Uh, the spring game uh, is included. Uh, the helmet. You know, we talked, we showed the team this last week. Um, we had a little highlight video, and then uh, we showed the helmet for the future uh, this season. And uh, it turned out to be an April Fool's joke, which they didn't know. That we broke it out on them uh, just a couple days ago. So they were a little bit concerned about it uh, until I told them, hey, we're not actually wearing that. We're going to wear it uh, for the scrimmage on Saturday. So this helmet uh, will be out there. Everybody will be in white helmets. Uh, defense will be in all orange. Offense will be in all blue. So it'll be a true blue and orange with the white helmet, and we'll be celebrating the B Day with the B helmet. Uh, Kellen's going to be there. We are going to honor Kellen. Uh, so we'll have him um, at the game, which will be great. And uh, what an awesome opportunity for our fans to, to come out and really say thank you for a tremendous career, being the winningest quarterback in college football. Um, you've got a guy that's done something nobody else has done. Uh, right here in your backyard, come out and celebrate them. Come out and watch our team. It'll be great weather. Uh, a lot going on that day. There'll be more festivities uh, that'll be announced later. Uh, but it's going to be a fantastic time, so we're really excited about that. But uh, overall, where our team's at, um, you know, we've been, knock on wood, fairly healthy throughout this spring. Uh, Jeremy McNichols will actually get back and get a few reps this week. We'll not do any live work. Um, We'll just be an individual, and then uh, you know we'll kind of see where he's at uh, at the end of the week. But that's a 
a good sign for him and his healing and his his progress that he's made so far so with that open up for questions